All right, today I'm going to walk you through a creation video uh, for Canva. So basically, I want to show you guys how I did this banner on my Facebook business page. So on your business pages, you can actually upload videos. And I, I wanted to show you exactly how I did this one. So uh, this is basically just an animated graphic in Canva, right? I've showed you how to do those in the unit one, but um, this turned it into a video for your Facebook business page. So this is essentially just calling attention and trying to, to grab their attention. And if they do click on it, you're going to see it opens up uh, the, the actual gra uh, video. And you can see I have added all of this information to the description of the video. So if I didn't have this on here, all I do is uh, click on add description or edit video, and I can add all of this to it. So uh, it's essentially just giving them more information uh, and a way for me to give them all kinds of links to click on. So how did I do this? Well. Over in Canva, you are going to click on custom dimensions and then you're going to choose 820, uh, do, 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 hold on, 820 by 360. I have a little chart that I use uh, to make sure because sometimes I don't um, want to take the chances and choose one of theirs. So uh, create new design. That is a page cover dimensions. That's what I just entered. So uh, I have this and uh, I'm going to walk you through exactly how I made that other one. So I'm going to, I have a bunch of pictures in a folder called wide. And I use these photos often for uh, banners like this obviously because it's wide. Uh, that's why I named it wide. So I pull in all kinds of uh, pictures that I've bought, that kind of thing. And I actually used this one. So I just dragged it over. And then I have certain fonts that I use for my business. So uh, I just uh, click on, I type what I want, social media tips. And then let's go ahead and hit duplicate. And I want to be able to play with this. And I have different fonts. So I'm duplicating some stuff. Because I want to be able to edit them and move them on their own. Uh, with directly social. Okay. So now that I have... Now that I can't spell. Okay. So now that I have my stuff, I'm going to move it up here, social media tips. Uh, now I'm going to change my font to my business fonts. So I use the same exact fonts with my business all the time to create that little brand um, recognition, brand recognition. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So I'm just going to go find my fonts and change those and change how big everything is and move it over and then directly social. Let's see, this one is supposed to be thin okay. with directly social. All right. So now I'm going to line these up and then Line that up, and then I'm going to change this to maybe gray, directly social. Okay, so this you see how I can just kind of move things where I want them. That's why sometimes I I do a different um, I do them in different boxes the text uh, just to make it easier. Okay, so now I'm going to add a button. I'm going to click on elements. And I'm going to add my square. I use that square a lot. So here's my button. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to kind of, 
eyeball and try to get it to match up with the text, how tall it is. And then I'm going to make that black. And then I'm going to hit text and click here. And we want to make this stand out. So I really could use a different font, but you don't want any more than three uh, different types of fonts um, in a graphic or it's kind of messy. So I'm going to click on this and hit white so that I can actually see what I'm doing. And do I want this two lines or one? We can do two lines. So there's this massive space that I want to fix. So I'm going to hit spacing and I'm going to pull those together. Click here. All right. So now I'm going to move this over. And I'm not really digging it. But if I make it smaller, I'd have to look at my original graphic and see what I did. I'm not even sure. But we're going to put click here for time's sake. You can play with this and make it how you want. Um, now we're going to line this up. Make sure the lines show that it's in the middle. Sometimes it's hard and my fingers want to move. There we go. Okay, so now we're all lined up. It says click here uh, and I can't handle it. So I need to make it longer. <laughs> now you see what I do. Uh, I want this to be one line. I couldn't handle it. Uh, so I can drag this and make it a little bigger. And then we're going to put it in the middle. And then I'm going to drag this up. Okay. Now I'm going to highlight. Do you see how I highlighted both of those? So I can move them together. So I'm just going to put click here. I'm going to highlight all of this and move it over. Ta-da! Okay, now I want to add, oh, you know what, that's funny. Um, I'm showing you how to add the um, buttons and stuff, okay? So I'm going to click on Elements and Arrow Animated and hit Enter. And here's all of my animated arrows. So I can scroll down and pick uh, anything I want. I really just want something that is going to drag their attention. So I could definitely use that. That's kind of cute, right? Play with that. But it kind of doesn't look like an arrow on the background, so I'm going to trash it. <clears throat> And here's the arrow that I used before. So I know I like that one. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to make it a little smaller. And I'm going to make sure. There you go. Okay. And then um, this one, I'm going to trash the wording. And I'm going to put click here animated. All right. And this is the click here button that I used. You could use any of these. So if I type in click here, I can pull this over here and use that. But I'm just dragging that off. I used this one. Make it smaller. And pull it up and then I'm going to play with it to make it fit in the box. And there we go. So I can, I know it's ending there. I think I have a little bit of room, yeah. Okay, so there's our click here. And this one we want to move together and put it kind of in the middle. All right. 
So there's your click here button, and this is exactly what I created. Now, what I want to do is I want to upload that onto my business page, right? So if I go to the business page, uh, I want to click on change cover and upload this new video, but here's the thing. Okay, so you do have to have the, the Premiere account to do this because it's a video, but here's the thing. It only downloads like a GIF or a, a five second uh, MP4 video. But in order to change your Facebook banner, you actually have to have 20 seconds of video. So here's what I did to work around that and not have to pay for somebody to professionally do a video for me. Here's what I did. I went copy, 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 copy. I did this like 10 times. So I have 10 of the same video and then I downloaded all 10 as a video. And now that makes a 20 second video and it fits the format to be able to use right here. So that's how you can get around that 20 second rule for uh, uploading a video banner on your business page. So just a little tip, uh, if you don't want to pay and you wanna use something really simple like this with a click here thing, uh, you know, that's how you can do it. Just add like 10 of them and it'll just play it over and over and over and over. You can see where it catches in five seconds. Watch, it'll glitch. See, it starts over. That's the next video. So that's all it is, is just uh, 10 videos put together and downloaded as one.